हेलो एंड वेलकम एंड नमस्कार टाइम सीरीज एनालिसिस नॉन लिनियर ट्रेंड क्वाड्रेटिक मेथड और सेकंड डिग्री पैराबोला एंड द सेकंड केस इज विथ इवन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स देयर आर 6 इयर्स अ टाइम सीरीज विथ इवन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स एंड एज वी नो दैट इन केस ऑफ इवन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स वी टेक द मीन ऑफ द टू मिडिल इयर्स एज ओरिजिन so in this case origin will be the mean of 2013 and 2014 and that will be 2013.5 and as usual to determine x we have two choices either to divide it by the half of interval in many indian and asian reference books on statistics this is done by the authors me and many like me don't prefer to do that but since it is explained in most of the reference books in Indian subcontinent that's why I am actually following that pattern of change of scale by dividing the difference between year and the origin by the interval in case of odd number of years and half of interval in case of even number of years I personally don't use this technique please Yes, here minus origin and as I said since there are even number of years we divide it by half of interval. This is not at all necessary. In many modern reference books particularly published from western countries this is not done. X for the year 2011 will be 2011 minus 2013.5 divided by 0.5 that means minus 2.5 divided by 0.5 that means minus 0.5 so x for the year 2011 comes to minus 5 similarly 2012 minus 2013.5 gives us minus 1.5 divided by 0.5 will give us minus 3 similarly minus 1 positive 1 positive 3 positive 5 5 plus 3 plus 1 is positive 9 and similarly negative 9 total is 0 summation of x must always be 0 and total of y is I have already written the summations is 848 that is sigma y now we need xy in the previous lecture we have already discussed which summations we need and for what purpose so I am not going to repeat that part 100 into minus 5 minus 500 107 into minus 3 minus 321 128 into minus 1 minus 128 140 into 1 140 positive 181 into 3 543 and 192 into 5 960 the positive total comes to 1643 and the negative total comes to 949 and hence the summation net comes to positive 694 sigma xy now we need x square square of x square of negative values is always positive so 5 square 25, 3 square 9, 1 square 1, 1 square 1, 3 square 9, 5 square 25, 25 plus 9, 34 plus 1, 70, 70, uh, 35, 35 into 2 is 70, so sigma x, come, x square comes to 70, now we need x square into y, in case of second degree para parabola, x square into y, x square into y, 100 into 25, 2500, 107 into 9, 963, I just need to maintain the order of number 128 into 1, 128 140 into 1, 140 181 into 9 100, 1629 192 into 25 it comes to 4800 and the summation of sig x square y is 10,160 sigma x square y now we need two more columns x cube and 
x raised to 4 and because of this column also this method is known as quadratic method okay x cube is multiplication or product of x and x square minus 5 into 25 minus 125 minus 3 into 9 minus 27 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 positive 1 into 1 positive 1 positive 3 into 9 positive 27 positive 5 into 20, positive 25 125 125 plus 27 152 plus 1 positive 153 negative 153 summation of sigma x cube should always be 0 and the last column x raised to 4 that is square of x square 25 square 625 9 square 81 1 square 1 1 square 1 9 square 81 and again 625 yes the total comes to 1414 sigma x raised to 4 so these are the all summations we need to find out the three constants from the standard equation yes now we are going to find out the required constants and the standard equation in case of second degree parabola is y equals to a plus bx plus cx square yes now first of all to find out a b and c the first thing is just get the summation and as we know that summation is of always variables only so it can be sigma y but a is only constant value there can never be summation of constant value so it is something like multiplication of sigma and a and sigma with any constant value is always n so it is na plus b sigma x and c sigma x square sigma y is 848 equals to n is 6 6 a plus b into 0 plus c into 70 so ultimately it is 6a plus 70c equals to 848 and we cannot solve this at present so just give number 1 to this equation this is equation number 1 ok now we can find out b with the help of second normal equation this was first normal equation second normal equation is actually possible to derive from the first itself just multiply the first normal equation by x x into y sigma xy will be sigma xy sorry sigma y into x that will be sigma xy because x is a variable we know that a a is actually sigma a now there is x so it will be a sigma x plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube let's substitute the values sigma xy is 694 a into 0 plus b into 70 plus c into 0 therefore 70 b equals to 694 therefore b equals to 694 divided by 70 therefore b equals to 9.91 9.91 okay now it is turn off using third equation because we need to find out three constants a b and c we just have found b only from the second normal equation and always in case of second degree parabola the second equation will give us the b you can now use this uh, uh, formula also in case uh, sorry instead of this equation but my intention is very clear that you better understand this point so I always use the equation instead of formula otherwise this is very simple 70 B equals to 694 what is 70 B it is B into sigma x square so you can also write that B equals to sigma x y upon sigma x square that is also similar but my intention is very clear I want you understand this in better way 
now it is upon you whether to use this equation or the formula okay now what just repetition of the step the first equation we multiplied the first normal equation by x and we got second normal equation now again multiply the second normal equation by x the result will be third normal equation sigma xy into x is sigma x square y equals to a sigma x will be a sigma x square similarly b sigma x cube and c into sigma x raised to 4 we have all the values sigma x square is 10,160 a into 70 plus b into 0 plus c into 1,400 14. So ultimately we have an equation 70A plus 1414C equals to 10160. Let's give it number 2. So we have two linear unsolved equations 1 and 2. Let's solve them. What can we do? Yes, one is 6a plus 70c equals to 848 and another is 70a plus 1414c equals to 160. It is better to multiply this equation by 70 and this equation by 6 so that there can be equal values of a. So equation 1 into 70. 6a into 70, 420a plus 70c into 70, 4900c equals to 848 into 70 will be 59360. And let's multiply equation number 2 by 6. 70a into 6 will be 420a plus 1414 into 6 will be 8484C equals to 10160 into 6 will be 60960. We just are going to subtract 70 equation 1, sorry, 6 equation 2 from 70 equation 1. So positive 420A will be negative, this will be negative, this will be negative. Okay, positive 420 and negative 420 can be cancelled. 8484 minus 4900 will be negative 3584C because greater number is negative. Similarly, here also greater number is negative minus 1600. Both are negative so C will be positive. C will be minus 1600 divided by minus 3584. Therefore, C comes to approximately 0.45. And now we just need to substitute C in any one of the two equations. 6A equals to 7, sorry, plus 70C equals to 848. Therefore, A equals to 848 minus 70C upon 6. Now let's substitute value of C. Therefore, A will be 848 minus 70 into 0.45 divided by 6. So ultimately it is A equals to 848 minus 31.5 upon 6. And therefore, A comes to 136.08. So now we have all the three constants of our standard equation A, B and C. So we can write the standard equation y equals to a plus bx plus c x square therefore in this case y estimated will be 136.08 plus 9.91x plus 0.45x square. If we substitute all x and x square values in this equation, we can have the estimated values for all these here, which are part of time series, and they are known as trend values. I leave it to you to find out the trend values of all these six years by substituting these x and x square values into this equation. Let's find out the estimated value for or estimate for 2017.
First of all, for 2017, what will be as? 2017 minus 2013.5 divided by half interval 0.5. So it will be 7. X will be 7 and hence X square will be 49. So estimate for 2017 will be 136.08 plus 9.91 into 7 plus 0.45 into 49. That means 136.08 plus 69.37 plus 22.05. So the estimate for 2017 is 227.5. In the similar way, we can find the estimate for any future year or all these years which are part of time series if we find the estimate for estimates for all these years which are part of time series they are known as trend values please find out trend values of all these years because in examinations many a time paper setters prefer to ask finding the trend values of all these years that's it thank you very much